Hello and welcome back everyone. It is your girl Cassandra Olivia. And if you want to see how I got this bomb ass glitter makeup look, then continue watching. As always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's get started. I have a ton of new Fenty goodies. I have these Fenty products and then I actually have these Fenty products all brand new that my husband just purchased for me last month. So I wanted to give you guys a Fenty Beauty makeup look. I actually did record this, um, I did record a Fenty Beauty makeup look with the stuff that I got last month, but I wasn't really feeling it to be completely honest with you guys. So I decided to just come and give you guys a whole completely different look. So I'm going to be using all Fenty products and I'm just going to be showing you guys a little bit of everything that I have. Um, the foundation that I got last month was 390 and it's a little bit too dark even though I went to Puerto Rico it's still a little too dark so I'm going to go back in with the 370 and then once I'm outside a little bit more in the summertime then I'll go back in with the 390. So I have here a little bit of everything like I have over probably 25 to 30 products sitting here I don't even know how many but I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to let you guys know what I'm using as I'm using it. So first things first. I want to do um I want to do like a bomb cut crease look or like a bomb makeup look I just feel like I haven't really been in like this creative space I feel like I've been doing a lot of like neutral looks so today I want to step it up a notch and I do want to use some of my girlfriend's lashes so shout out to you Rami from high profile I have her lashes right here um a couple of them so we are going to finesse and make it to do and I cannot wait to put these on. Like I might go with the bottom or the top here. I'm not sure. I'm kind of feeling like I want to do this top right side. We'll see though. The only thing that I'm not going to be using that's not fancy is my Juvia's Place palette. But I want to go for like a warm golden gold look. But I just want to take it up a notch with a little bit of glitter. So I want to start my eyes first and then I'll do my skin last. Normally when I want to go off on my eyes, I will do my eyes first and my skin last. The reason being is because you don't want any fallout on your um, foundation. So if I were to do my foundation first, it will stick. But then if I do my eyes and there's a lot of fallout and product coming down here, then it'll cause a lot of glitter to show through my makeup and I have to try to wipe it off or blend over it. It just saves a lot of time and headache if I just do my eyes first. This is the P. Louise base in the shade 5. blending this into my brow the reason why I'm doing that is so that way it'll kind of create a guideline for how I want to fill in my brow it's like reversing so I'm putting on the concealer a little bit first then I'll fill in the brow and then I'll also like reconceal and play around with it I'm gonna go in now with this shade right here Applying a generous amount. I don't tap it off because I feel like what I put on the brush, I'm intentionally trying to put on my skin. So what I do is I'll just tap it to where it's enough product. But to me, I personally don't like to tap it. Like I don't like to do this and then because then it just it makes the product come off. So I'll dab it like twice and then I'll just build it up. Building up just means to put a little bit of the product on at a time and then just keep adding more and more. Don't go in with way too much at first. Just add a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit here. And that way it's easier to blend it too. And if you start going in the wrong direction, you're not stuck with a ton of eyeshadow that you have to try to blend out. So now I'm just going in with a different blending brush. This has no name. I got this off of Amazon. And I'm going to go in with this darker shade right here, right underneath of where I put it that brown now this I'm only tapping a tiny bit like this one two just very very lightly and I'm just gonna go right under where I'll put that brown so that way I have a little bit of room to blend it upwards I have the first brown that I put on with this blending brush and then the second darker brown I put on with this smaller blending brush and then I literally just placed it underneath and then I'm gonna go in with a third brush that has nothing on it. And I'm gonna use that to blend out the two shades together. So this is the third fluffy brush. It's a little bit bigger. So to diffuse this uh, dark brown that I put on. 
and I'm just going to start to blend that up. Because I know I want to do glitter, I'm just going to put the glitter glue directly onto my lid and then start applying my glitter. This is the Mermaid Scales glitter I'm using. This is Golden Pearl. And it has like golden and white flakes in it. So because I know I want to do a cut crease, instead of me putting more concealer and then putting eyeshadow on and then putting glitter, I'm just going to put the glitter directly on the brush and start applying that. I'm being careful. I'm just tapping this right where I want it to go. I'm going to go in with my glitter. I'm just going to tap into this with that same brush I used to apply the glue. starting to tap this over top of where I just put that glue at. I'm just going to let that dry for a second with a brush with nothing on it. I'm just going to go like this just to avoid me getting anything in my eye. I'm blending that upwards just a tiny bit. What I'm gonna do is pop my lash on first and then I'm gonna apply the liner second. So I'm gonna go in with the lashes from High Profile and Style 9. While this is drying, I just gotta say, your makeup will always look sus until you are almost done. If it looks crazy the whole entire time and then you start putting your face on afterwards and it still looks crazy, take a deep breath, it's okay, we are all learning. Um, don't sweat the little things. Oh yeah, I definitely like this better than the soft brown. But what I can do is, I can do black towards the end and soft brown towards the front just to give it like an ombre effect. But I wanna just see today what this will do by itself. And I'm just gonna start doing light pressure towards the front and lighter strokes. The good thing about this pencil, it is a dual sided pencil. So I can go ahead and buff out my brows to like diffuse them so they're not so harsh. But this already is like, yes. All right, so that's filled in good enough to my liking for right now. I'm gonna use the other end of this brush and just start to brush out the front softly. This is black, so I'm just making sure to brush it where I placed it and not to go down too far because I don't want it to mess up my concealer. I feel like I have to rush because my husband's gonna be home in like an hour. It's not gonna take me that long. Normally the first eye takes me the longest and then the second eye is like super easy. I'm just gonna blend this out. It doesn't matter if you get concealer a little too far or up under here. Just blend it, make sure it's smooth because we're gonna cover that anyway later on. Don't even stress it. Okay, so my eyes are done. Now it's time to get to the face. Okay, so now that my eyes are done, I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Pro Filter Primer and I'm just gonna apply this all over my face with my fingers because that's what I wanna do. And I do have a lotion on that I already put on my face just because my skin has been extremely dry. As I said previously in the beginning of this message or the beginning of this video, my skin has been going through it. Do you hear me? So just want to make sure I have that added moisture because this is a mattifying primer, but I did want to use her products together because they are bomb. So this is the what it do. What is this? makeup refreshing spray so I want to go in with this and just spray this all over my oh 
Oh, this has a nice smell. Just to add a little bit of moisture. And now I'm just going to go in with Fenty 370. And I'm just going to rip this. There's no other way to do this. And I'm going to start applying this all over. I do have the Fenty Skin Tint, but right now I just want to do like a thorough beat. And I feel like with the skin tint, it's not going to really cover my blemishes like I want. So we're going to save that for another day, probably tomorrow. We're just going to go in with 370. It does oxidize, so it's going to look really light at first. But it's going to turn into my shade in about 90 seconds. So I'm using this brush that I got from Juvia's Place. It's a, I mean, not Juvia's Place. Oh my God, I'm using this brush that I got from BH Cosmetics. This is a lip primer. Okay, using this palette right here and that same brush that I used to do my under eye and to flick off this stuff on my eye, I'm just going to go in with this black right here. I'm going to use my beauty sponge so I don't get fingerprints on my makeup and I'm going to actually do my lash line. Okay, so now I got that all smoked out. I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And I'm just going to apply this to my lashes at the top to blend those with my real lashes and my lash line at the bottom because we are going for super, super dramatic yet simple and subtle. But I just like the extra drama that this I have this Fenty Cheeks out that I'm going to put on. This is like a cream blush. Oh, it really means cream. Let's see how it is. And it looks like this. It's just a little, little red. So I feel like I'm going to put this on with this fluffy brush just to be on the safe side. This is a BH Cosmetics brush. 
And I'm just gonna tap into this and kind of like, okay, just lightly start at like my upper jawline. Just to add a, ooh. Okay, I'm feeling this. I was really scared it was gonna do too much because I've never used cream blush. This is my first clean, uh, cream blush ever. It reminds me of like a lipstick consistency. But this is, it's giving glow and blush at the same time. Special shout out to you babe for buying me all these fancy products. I have so much makeup and I'm so excited to start bringing you guys more makeup looks because I just felt like I was in the funk and I just did not feel like doing my makeup. So I'm back at it and I'm so ready to give you guys some more content. So shout out to you babe.